Welcome to the MS Pumpkin Derby video. This video will explain to you how to make an MS Pumpkin Derby racer and what will come in your MS Pumpkin Derby kit should you choose to get one with your registration. First off, it is a good idea to get two pumpkins so that you have one to practice on when you're drilling or one to use for testing out your racer styles or techniques. Pumpkins can start rotting within just a few days depending on the temperature and you don't want to wait until the day before the race to figure out how to make one. So the first pumpkin is great for practicing on and even if it starts to rot, it won't matter. Remember, a rotting, mushy pumpkin can make for a wobbly axle, and so can a lot of test runs, so use that first pumpkin to work out all the bugs and use the second one just a day or so before the race as your final racer. In your kit, you will receive four wheels, which are six inches by one and one fourth inch wheels that are thermoplastic rubber gray tread, permanently bonded to a rugged polyolefin wheel core with ball bearings. You also receive two 3 8 inch threaded rods that are 24 inches long, 12 washers, and 20 nuts. The standard registration does not come with the kit, but if you choose the deluxe registration, this is the kit you would receive. You do not have to purchase the deluxe registration and can choose to use whatever wheels and hardware you need and want to use. Remember to use your creativity and ingenuity if you want to go all out, but remember to follow the rules. The following items are the tools we recommend that you use in order to build your pumpkin racer. The first, a work surface or workbench that will allow you to drill and have flexibility to work on all sides of the pumpkin. The second item is a drill. With your drill, you will need a drill bit long enough to go all the way through your pumpkin. Be sure to remember the weight restrictions for the pumpkin racing class that you registered for. We recommend not getting a pumpkin that is very round, but instead suggest a tall skinny one set on its side. These tend to work best and long drill bits, such as the one shown in the video, can make it all the way through. If you get your drill bit before you get your pumpkin, you can measure your pumpkin while buying it to make sure that the drill bit you will have will be able to go through it. Your long drill bit should be at least 3 8 inches wide, but can be up to 1 half inch wide. Remember your threaded rod is 3 8 inches. In order to keep your two axles even to the ground, we recommend a drill that has a level on it. In our video you'll see that the level is right on top. In addition to the drill, you'll need two strong clamps in order to hold down the jig, which we will show you. We created a jig that will help us drill the holes for the axles both parallel to each other. This is about the only way you'll be able to keep the pumpkin racer running straight. We used a simple 2x4 and added on top two smaller pieces for each spot where the drill bit would be used. It's important to look at your pumpkin first and determine the distance that you want your axles apart from each other first of all so that your wheels will not be touching each other. Also you will need to have the piece of wood thick enough so that your axles are far enough from the ground so that they are not going to come through on the bottom of the pumpkin. You'll also need some type of straps in order to strap your pumpkin to the workbench. You will need to be able to really secure the pumpkin to the bench, but we also recommend that you have a second person to help you to be sure it doesn't get away from you while you're drilling. So place your pumpkin close to one edge of the workbench, leaving just enough room for the jig and a little bit extra for the head of the drill bit. This will allow you to lift it up and away from the jig when it comes out of the pumpkin. Next, align the jig up so the two spacer channels are where you would like the axles to be. Once it's where you'd like it to be, you secure the clamps to the workbench. Make sure that your jig is lined up evenly with the edge of your workbench and that you will have enough room for your drill bit head when it comes out of the pumpkin to lift up. Otherwise, it will tear up the channel of your drill bit gap, which is smaller than the head. Please note, for safety, again, we recommend that an adult always be the one to hold the pumpkin while the drilling is being done. As you start drilling, the most important thing is to keep that drill level. If your drill has a level on top, be sure to keep an eye on it. The key is to go slow and even to create a smooth axle channel. Your pumpkin holder should be able to tell you when you come out on the other side and when you're done so you can pull the drill back slowly until you have just exited the pumpkin. Do not try to pull that drill bit head through the jig guide or you may break it. a close-up shot of how to drill that axle channel. Remember to keep it level and when you're finished pulling back just lift straight up so as not to destroy your guide with the head of your drill bit. 
If you've used a jig, your two axle channels should be parallel. Remember to always keep your drill level and make sure the bubble is in the center. Next you will insert your two threaded rods, trying to get them as even as possible. Remember you can adjust them later. Next you will place the washer on the rod and push it close to the pumpkin. Then thread on the nut to hold the washer in place. You can do this on the other side of the pumpkin and try to get them as even as possible. If they're not, your pumpkin will not roll straight. We will demonstrate this at the end of the video. Next you will screw on two nuts side by side onto the thread rod and then a washer. Next you'll put on a wheel and then another washer and then two more nuts. You need two nuts on each side of the washer in order to lock the wheels into place. We would recommend not tightening the nuts just yet until you're sure you have the wheels where you want them and the racer runs straight. Repeat for all four wheels. If you find that your wheels will hit each other because the axles are too close, then you can stagger them by having the front wheels closer into the pumpkin than the back wheels or vice versa. A good width for your pumpkin from the front of the racer is about 8 inches. That would work with most long drill bits and with the 24 inch threaded rods you will be receiving in the kit. Once they are where you would like them and it will run straight, you can lock down the nuts. If you do a test run and it doesn't quite run straight, it means that the wheels weren't quite centered on the pumpkin, so you should try adjusting the wheels and doing another test run. You can see in our video they weren't quite centered and the pumpkin veers off. Good luck and remember to have fun. Even if your pumpkin doesn't win the race, it always can win the design and decoration contest, so be sure to make it look great. We'll see you in November. Thanks!